All right, so the purpose of this video is to show you my methodology for testing input delay on my televisions. And the way I do it is I have a Kodak ZI8 camera, which records at 60 frames per second. And I usually uh, start the recording with the standard definition television because they have no delay, obviously. So here's, um, and I load it up in Adobe Premiere Pro and I scroll by frame by frame and here you see when I hit the button after the button is pressed down I start the count which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 after 16 frames uh, after the button is hit on the camera um, pause, punch, connects with Armor King and I do this several times per recording just to make sure that it's consistent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It's always 16 frames after the button hits on standard. So if there's, if it uh, takes the high definition televisions or monitors more than 16 frames after the button hits, that indicates uh, lag. So with the HDTV here, I have a recording of that. For some reason, the audio is um, sync and the button pressing isn't right, but that doesn't matter. I can use visual to check. The button's pressed. So one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So my, I knew my HDTV lags by uh, 2 frames because I've already done this test before uh, even when the audio was in sync. But every once in a while the audio is out of sync so um, I use the visual cues anyways for the button press. But yeah, I already knew my HDTV lagged by 2 frames so I can look at it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen to eighteen frames. I, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's one and a half to two frames of lag. Of course, I uh, keep checking consistently, or I keep checking over and over just to make sure the consistency of the test. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, see, so it takes about 18 frames on my HDTV, so I know there's about 2 frames of lag, which is why I got something uh, which I feel is better, and I got the BenQ gaming monitor. And I did, I just got that today, so I'm running tests on that as well. Let's see here. I got my uh, camera on a tripod this time, so it's a little easier. One, so you can as soon as I press a button down, th the audio is in sync for this, so it makes it even easier to test. As after your your finger hits the button, the the frame after you see that happen is when you start the count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. You see on 16 frames it hits, just like SDTV. So you know there is no lag on that particular uh, test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This one comes out 15 frames, but that means <laughs> something's not right because it comes out at 16 for SDTV, so I probably didn't count properly. So I'm, I usually, if something weird like that happens, I just throw throw that away and I move to the next one. I mean, if it's faster, I mean, that, that can't be right, but I might have counted one frame early on the button press, and so that means there's still no lag, 16 frames. So I'm okay with that either way. Here's another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. See the red dot? There's no lag on this monitor so far. And uh, three button presses. So here's another one. So see, there's one frame of lag on that particular button press. Let me try that again just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. But that's normal because no matter what monitor you get, there's always going to be a little bit of lag whether it's half a frame or quarter frame sometimes the recording uh, catches that that frame of lag so <clears throat> you saw that three presses had no lag and one press had one lag one frame of lag so you do, do the math I mean it's like a quarter of a frame of lag right there one two you see like sometimes the audio wasn't completely in sync and it's hard to capture some of the button presses. For some of them like that one, which I wasn't 100% sure when I press the button, I usually just move on to the next one. Like a really clean button press, like that, like frame, when I go to this next frame you can see the button is clearly pressed down and then I can count the frame after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 frames just like the SCTV so you know that this monitor is reliable um, like I said probably a quarter of a frame lag and I knew that before I purchased this one so that's the reason why I did it <clears throat> and uh, I do the same thing uh, if I want to test the online latency and I'm on the same monitor with the uh, the BenQ monitor I purchased and I had my friend uh, play me online you can see there's five bars right here so I'm not this isn't a joke this is just to show you how good the online is I have them walk towards me so there's no block and I can see the hit um, the hit the hit flash the red flash so you can see that's a clean button press so I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You can see online there's one frame of freaking lag. The, the online in Tekken is just phenomenal. I can't believe it. And that's my friend in Virginia. I'm in upstate New York. <laughs> one frame of lag. It's playing Tekken Tag 2 in a 5 bar connection online is literally faster than my HDTV playing Tekken on HDTV. That's how pathetic it is. My HDTV that is. Uh, this isn't a very clear button press so I, I don't even really want to count that. Let's go move on to the next one. That's a clear button press though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 frames um, instead of 16 and this is online play so one frame by extra lag online which is unbelievable uh, Namco set new standards with this netcode for damn sure and um, this monitor is awesome too <laughs> but uh, yeah this is how I test for input delay and I've been doing this for a while now and um, I, I, I feel like it's pretty accurate I, I know it's not the best thing you can do but uh, for most people who do own a 60 frame per second camera, this is I think this is the most uh, reasonable way to do it, and uh, I, I feel it's very accurate. That's my opinion on it, though. So, um, as you saw earlier, this monitor sometimes has a frame lag, like maybe once out of every four button presses. So I, I, I feel like it's safe to say it's like a quarter of a frame lag. And online, uh, you saw there's only one extra frame. That might even be my monitor lag, but I doubt that. But 
uh, online is basically uh, one frame of lag, maybe a little lower if that is my monitor lag, but I mean that's just freaking amazing. So this is the way I test it and uh, hopefully uh, anyone else who wants to test the lag on their display can use this method as well and uh, hopefully it does help you out. So thanks for watching.